pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Ay, joder. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen. Hey. Namakshon! Bold. Another American. Now I need two pairs of eyes. No, thank you. <laughs> now ain't that something. Look at that. Nothing like a game of poker to warm the soul. I... I'll call. Would you look at that? I'll call. Lady Luck is sure kicking my ass today. Call. I checked that. Sweet mother of pearl. I call you. I... Terrible. I'll call. Looks like the table is... You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! As soon as he draws, put him down! Nobody steals from me, especially an American!
I got my eye back. <laughs> Old Muller always did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man like Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> You better not miss, partner. No, por favor. No merezco esto. We really aren't making any friends today. Find some cover. Let's surely know where I am. Stay in cover now. This is what happens when you work for a German. Don't leave yourself open. I run this town. Nobody leaves here alive! These assholes don't stand a chance! I've had it with you! Goddamn bandit! Well, partner, I think we can safely say this poker game is over. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. My apologies, mister. Escucha lo que te digo. Habrá guerra en Europa. ¡Qué tontería! <laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Let's see, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. 
Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and... Let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. For your health. Mr. Ricketts! Mr. Ricketts! Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. ¿Qué tal usted? Let's head for Escalera. Whenever you're ready, partner. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Melinda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your turn wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd live the charm life. I've known... Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. Let's go!
Now, nah, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so.